long guns have been flying off the shelves here at TNT Gunworks in Regina. Owner Daryl Schemenauer says business has been much better ever since the federal long gun registry was scrapped in 2012. A lot of people are happy that the registry is gone. They can buy a firearm without a phone call, without paperwork, extra paperwork. Yeah, people are a lot happier. Shortly after the 2011 federal election, the Conservative government created Bill C-19, legislation to scrap the Canadian Firearms Registry. The bill meant that non-restricted firearms, or most long guns, no longer had to be registered. It also ordered that all existing records be destroyed. Schemenauer was grateful when the legislation passed the following spring. There's always going to be mistakes but when there's that many numbers involved in a transaction on a firearm. Uh, there's so many firearms out there that aren't in a computer system, old guns with no serial numbers on them. Uh, they had to be made up. It was just a nightmare. So I'm glad it's gone. It's a lot less headache for us. Saskatchewan's Agriculture Minister, Lau Stewart, says all of that additional paperwork cost taxpayers billions of dollars. Uh, there's no additional crime. There's no more violence. There's... Uh, um, uh, and gun owners no longer feel like second-class citizens. It's uh, always been illegal to, to uh, carry a pistol in Canada without the proper permitting and uh, that hasn't changed. But the abolished long gun registry is making headlines again after federal NDP leader Thomas Mulcair told reporters that a federal NDP government would essentially revive it in a different form. For the NDP the obligation is of result is that the police are able to track every gun. That has to be there both for public protection and for protection of the police themselves. Those comments immediately angered gun owners across the country, especially in Western Canada, where the registry was extremely unpopular. Greg Illerbrunn with the Saskatchewan Wildlife Federation says the system targeted the wrong group of people because criminals didn't register their firearms. He says bringing back any form of gun registry would be a step backwards. Well, if Mr. Mulcair wanted to go ahead with that, the taxpayers would be taking another major hit. And <laughs> believe me, the NDP would be taking a major hit on, on seats in rural Canada because they won't get any votes. Apparently, they're slow learners. Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall told Sun News this week that the province would fight back if any federal government attempted to bring back the gun registry. Schemenauer is also hoping the registry is gone for good as he says it was a source of constant frustration. Now he and his staff only have to worry about keeping track of firearm sales in the store's logbook. Uh, nobody knows that firearm belongs to the customer except for us. Basically what they've done is went back to the old way and it's been absolutely 100% way better since the registry has been gone. I'm Lisa Morozik and this is a Sun News Network special report.